All right, guys, so we're going to start off today's technique uh, with the center parting. Um, I want to create some really cool textured face frame layers, right, starting at that jawline uh, all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take diagonal forward partings. Uh, again, we're doing this on dry hair, so what I did was I smoothed and polished it out with a paddle brush first. I used the Ergo paddle brush, the one I love the most. Um, and what I'm going to do is bring that hair forward, and I'm going to slide from the top down. And what I'm doing when I do this technique is a half open half closed, just really slightly moving that scissor blade down the hair shaft. Now you want to have really sharp scissors to do this uh, to make sure you get a nice glide over the hair. And then I take my next section, which is still diagonal uh, forward, slightly diagonal forward, and I just bring it to the front of the face and I slide and I cut. What that's doing is removing weight, adding texture, uh, but also creating that face frame at the same time. So uh, removing some length from that as well. So I'm going to work my way all the way to the ear. Uh, now we're pretty much at vertical sections. And again, just sliding across and cutting. You can see all the movement that happens just from those three sections, guys. That's why this technique is so cool for me uh, is because you get maximum results with the little effort uh, as you're going in and cutting. So now the next technique that I'm doing here is still slide cutting, uh, half open, half close. I'm just working on the details in right around that face frame. So breaking it up a little bit, um, and taking off just the very end part of the hair. So you can see the pieciness that happens just from that technique. Look at the difference between the one side and the other. That's the goal, guys, removing that weight, creating the texture, creating the movement uh, with this really cool technique. So sliding again uh, across the hair shaft and just working short to long. So it's pretty much like if you would elevate it, point cut it, you're just getting a softer angle on this uh, by doing this technique uh, for this face frame. So again, see the half open, half closed. That's a pretty good angle of it. Just sliding down the hair and you can see those shorter pieces and then it gets longer as it falls back off the face. So same thing here, body position right in front of the head. Um, I didn't move um, from this whole haircut. So I stayed on the same side of the head uh, and just worked my way through. It gets a little bit awkward on this side, but not too bad. And just kind of pushing that hair forward across the face. So then sliding all the way to the end, taking out that hair. Now, again, I go in half open, half close, really detailing. Look how it just breaks apart that face frame, really creates that pieciness, super cool look to this cut. So now, once I've got that exactly where I want it, now I'm going to check everything, make sure the balance looks good in the mirror, and then I'm going to start working on the back. Now, the back's pretty simple. We're going to work uh, on a traveling guide, work our away all the way around to the other ear um, and just slide cutting again. So again, like I said at the very beginning of this video, this is a super easy technique to create a nice textured haircut. Now, where this might be a little bit complicated is if you have a guest that comes in really needs a trim, uh, they're not just looking for some extra texture in their haircut, um, you're going to want to do a nice one length haircut or something to uh, get the ends nice and strong. Uh, maybe even go through and do a little bit of layering first before you do this dry texturizing technique. So there could be other options in this, but in this particular case, all I needed to do was the slide cutting to create the end result. So again, sliding out uh, from short to long, creating those layers. And do the same thing on the opposite side. So uh, biggest difference is now I'm pushing away from my body to the guideline uh, before I was pulling towards it. A uh, little overhead view so you can see me sliding there. Um, and just working my way around. So notice I take a little bit of the old hair, bring in some of the new hair, push the hair away from my body, and then I half close the scissor and slide down. So one thing I want you guys to realize is that I stop right where the hairline meets behind the ear so that the density of this cut stays very similar. So just know that. So get to the point where the hairline starts to work its way up and that's when you're gonna stop. And those layers come together from what you cut in the front and what you cut in the back. Now I go through, I, I get a nice blunt line on the cut so it looks nice and healthy. I do that at the end. And I'm going to go in with the Joyco Body Shake Texturizing Finisher. There's one for thicker hair and there's one for medium to fine hair. I'm going to do the medium to fine on this particular haircut uh, because she has medium density hair. I spray it in tons of texture. It also smells like you're at the beach. So if you're feeling like you need to get away at this moment, just spray some of this and, and you'll be good to go. So here's a fun technique that anybody can do really um, is a wand iron. So you grab the wand iron and you wrap the hair back off your face for the first section. And then the second section that I'm going to take, I'm going to wrap towards my face. I'm going to rotate that all the way back to the ear. Now I'm not worried about the back of the head so much. 
uh, at this point. So I'm going to do both sides just like that. So notice I went forward with this technique here, and then I'm going to go uh, back with the next section. So I just keep rotating that back and forth till I get to the ear. That gives me a tousled texture um, that works out really well. I also want to try to get um, the ends nice and uh, kind of straighter feeling. So it's more of a lived in look rather than a, a whole curl. So I leave a little bit of the ends out. I pinch those in my finger and I just work the back of the hair. You'll see me work it all the way around. And this is all the same direction because I don't care as much about the back. Can't see the back anyways, right? Uh, when you're in the mirror. So I just go through and give a nice tousled texture, grab random pieces, and now you can see it start to come to life. So that face frame, that texture that we created, um, I'm gonna grab an extra piece and just give it a little extra curl off the face. Uh, but you guys can see all the movement that happens in this haircut. If you like the color too, I just put out a color video, so go check that out um, to how to do this kind of honey blonde, buttery blonde uh, highlight using the new Joyco 9NNG and 10NNG. So hope you guys like it. We'll finish it off with a little bit of spray um, just to get it off of her face a little bit. Um, you can see those uh, lived in ends, that texture, the movement. Really love this. Let me know if you guys have questions in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's new videos coming out all the time. And anytime you complete one of these haircuts or do one of these haircuts, hashtag free salon education on Instagram so I can see it. And the last thing I want you to do is go out and download our brand new app.